they'd seen me in guise and doll. And uh, my agent at William Morris at the time, Ruth Aronson, uh, said there's a, there's a part over on a show that, that's going to go this fall. You're not right for it, but go over and see how it, who knows. So I went there, and it was indeed for an older person. Uh, I'm not old enough now for how old that person was supposed to be then. So uh, I read for them, and they liked my reading. And then when uh, Jay Sandridge, who incidentally called me today, said he had seen me in Jacques Brel, and he'd been very impressed. So that when my name came up to be in soap, he, of course, gave me a rousing send-off. And so I came out here for a screen test, and they liked me and they took me. He was an ancient Negro retainer, uh, which meant, I guess, that he was a, a butler, major domo or something. But they couldn't find the particular type. They couldn't find this person. You know how if, if you have a character, somebody walks in and embodies that character, kind of like magic. Other people can come in and do an incredible, can do a credible job, but it just didn't hit you or something like that. I had been on many auditions where it just didn't hit them. <laughs> I wasn't the guy. I auditioned for soap, and they couldn't stop laughing. They said, uh, he's not right. <laughs> he's not right. No, he, he's too young. <laughs> you know, so it was one of those things. The controversy, as I recall it, was simply that uh, it was risque, and it uh, managed to pick up a number of detractors, chief among them the moral majority, who found the show uh, risque and damaging to morals and practically everything that, I mean, we became the, the whipping boy for everything the moral majority was supposedly against. Um, and I think it's because we had a Billy Crystal playing a homosexual. And it to the moral majority, people seemed to be jumping in and out of bed with one another. <laughs>